Hello, I'm Robert Kennedy, and today I wanted to talk about the <coughs> skin cancer treatment I've been going through. I've been putting this uh, Ephedix cream on, 5% cream, and I've been putting it on like all over two times a day. I'll put it on the, you know, just spread it on like this here over the nose, and I started that. Uh, well, I started it, I used it for two weeks, and this is my third day of not using it. So after two weeks, this uh, got really red, and it was kind of unbearable to kind of, you know, all the pain and the burning and the itching. It was unbearable after two weeks, so I stopped using it, and I'm putting on uh, this other cream. It's uh, Sica Bio by Bioderma or it's uh, Arnica Plus it's it's this is French <laughs> so I can't read nothing on it but I'll uh, hypoallergenic I'll, I'll write the name correctly on the video and this this is supposed to repair your skin and and help it heal and stuff like that so I've been using this like three times, three or four times a day for the last three days to kind of get it to heal. And you can see now it's kind of uh, flaking. I don't know, I hope the the burn will go away. I was worried about, you know, worried about the redness and the inflammation just staying there, you know, and just having red skin. Because sometimes if the blood, you know, like bloodshot, where it goes so thick into your... Uh, skin it stays for a while but I I think it'll uh, go away I had this I went through a treatment similar to this like 10 years ago and uh, it went really well so I, th I thought this would go the same way I forget how long they told me to use it for but they just told me to use it until I couldn't bear it anymore and then stop and then man everything was great after that so I thought this one would be really uh, really good but it after two weeks it was unbearable I think um, you know what I should have did was just pick out a small portion like just here just do here at once and I got something on the nose just do a little bit of the nose I got a spot over here do a spot over here like just one portion at a time and then you can you can bear the burning more if uh, you just put like on a small portion then it then if you do it like over your whole face, you know, that's, that's too much to do at one time. So I guess, uh, you know, if it doesn't clear everything up uh, right away, I'll go back at the treatment again and just do like a small portion at a time. And then uh, it'll work better. So anyways, yeah, I got this, this uh, skin cancer stuff, so... And I think it's because, you know, when I was young, you know, I love being in the sun. I go to the beach all the time, you know, and then, uh, well, in the beginning of my career, I was an electronic technician, so I, I was like indoors and I hated it. And I worked like indoors for years. And then finally I got a job working on power lines. So I was outside working on power lines every day for about 10 years. And I'm sure you got a lot of sun, I guess. You know, it seemed like my nose was always red and my cheeks, you know, like all my life, my nose was red and my cheeks were red, you know, but I, I just assume that's, you know, my skin is really light and burns really easy. It doesn't hardly tan at all. I mean, to be able to tan this skin, you gotta be, you know, like really careful, like 10 minutes a day or something like that, you know, and no other sun. Cause it's, I mean, I'm so pale that I just burn continuously and uh, well I think that's all I got for you um, so subscribe like you know uh, tell your friends if you got pale skin like me try to stay out of the Sun it's that's pretty rough on you and you don't want to end up like this you know when you're uh, 60 or you know I had this I had some problem also when I was like 50 and 40, and it just keeps getting worse, and now it's, uh, you know, 
it's just getting worse and worse every 10 years it's multiplied so uh, take care